What's going on, everyone? And welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, wait until you see this photo. This is really bizarre. My first impression when I saw this object from distance away, I'll tell you what it looked like to me. In all honesty, in my opinion, it looked like a vehicle. What kind of vehicle? Not sure. But it has an uncanny resemblance to what we would have here on Earth. Now, in closer inspection, not sure if it's that at all, because it may be some kind of piece of machinery. Picture this. Here on Earth, Everybody's driving along in a city just doing their thing. Suddenly a great catastrophic event happens, and I'm talking about a huge nuclear blast or whatever it may be, right? You can imagine the total pandemonium, buildings collapsing, cars being thrown and thrashed around. If you're next to a seaboard, like a, uh, like a marina or something like that, boats being thrashed around and stuff. Picture that scene all combined, and that's the image I get. Let's just jump right into it, because I want you guys to see this. All right, you can see it right here from NASA Mars Exploration Program. And it says solves 3,409 to 3,410. Moving right along slowly but surely. Here's the photo right here. I'll give you the link. You won't have to worry about that. But this is the photo you get, right? Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right here in the back, top left. Let's just zoom right into that. Try to get it here in the middle of the screen somewhat. Right there. Right here. I was like, what is that? It looked like, like a docker area here, a docker area in the back. Looked like it had some kind of frame to it. It almost looked like this weird Jeep type thing. I'm not saying that's what it is. Because the more I get into this photo, the crazier it got. Now, you can see right here, there's lines right here at the base of the so-called hill. You can see like a 90 degree line right there. You can see what looks like there's a rounded or curved mark right here. Okay. And you got straighter lines down here. Another 90 degree right there. And you can see other faint lines there, okay? Now, these objects out here on the left, on top of this so-called flat rock, folks, wait do you see this stuff, like right here. Right there, you can see it's sectioned off. Like some weird things going on here. The back, folks, no difference. Now, what I'm gonna show you is a couple ways to bring this photo out. So we do a couple different ways. One is, you know, bring down the darkness and the brightness, and then the other one is equalization. And by doing both of the enhancements, you may see something different uh, compared to the other one. So let's just jump right into Photoshop. Let me show you that. Okay, you can see here's the photo. And you can see the uh, Curiosity uh, front wheel right here, right? And you can see it did go pretty good distance all the way to the back here. So it is checking out the stuff. You can see where it pretty much stopped over here. It's on the right-hand side, like right in this area right here. Well, let's have a little bit closer look at the background. Like I said, that item right there, folks, when I first looked at that, it looked like some kind of vehicle. Again, this may be my mind playing tricks. And again, we have all of these weird 90 degree angles and different curvatures and lines. See that? That's not something you should see in a mountain here, folks. Now, let's jump over to the left. And again, I want you guys to check out this whole area once it's enhanced, okay? All right, so let's get right into that. So I'm gonna go different steps here, and you'll see how this came along. Pause it any way you want, get out your magnifiers, have a look at this, this is cool. Now, I put a slight blur into it, so we don't have so much of that pixelation going on. Start to get darker in this area here, right here. Start to bring out the other lines here, you can see them right here on the left-hand side, okay? Let's keep going with it. Okay. More and more things are going to start to pop out of here, folks. And then it's light. Let's bring it up. Bring out more lines. Such as at the top of this. And look at the way these... It's almost like panels there. Kind of curved in a shape kind of thing on here on the top of this hill, right? Okay. We can slide this over to the right. And folks, just more and more stuff just, just thrown around and thrashed around, right? Now, let's zoom into this part here. And have a look at the different pieces, especially this area 
right here where you have what looks like little intricate parts in that one section alone. Then have a look at the shapes in this area, round shapes, square shapes on top of other square shapes. Doesn't make any sense. Now, let's back out of it a little bit. This here, just below this other object. Some kind of weird framework. See that? Now I'm gonna back out of this, take all the lines out of this, right about here, pause it right here, have a look at this stuff. Now we're gonna go into a different way of enhancing it. And what we did was we did equalization first, and you see it turns out darker, but let's just see what we can find in here. All right. We'll keep going. Try to bring this stuff out as best we can. Okay. Well, let's have a look at this left-hand side now. Folks, what is this? What is this stuff on top of this? Not only do you have this weird shaped object, again, these pieces right here. It's everything on top of this that is just crazy, right? If you look at the other pieces, you can see just little weird pieces you should not see on rocks. You should not see that. Look at the shape of this object right here. The space in between it, there's actually a small thin line, like a design line, right in this area here. And you can see that, okay? You have all of these other lines back here. That's not something you should see in a rock or a hillside. And then we have this other cluster of whatever this is. Now, folks, whether these objects are in fact some kind of weird vehicle like this piece right here in this smaller circle, what well, looks like another circle here, because that's not very good, but you get the idea. Check that out. These look like mechanical parts. I showed a buddy this right here, this, this area I was just telling you about, where you can see the way this thing comes down. This is just really bizarre. You really have to look at this carefully. I'm gonna put a little blur into this in a moment. Not sure what to make of any of this. And my buddy said, dude, that, that doesn't even make sense. How can these shapes be in these rocks? But when I see this, it doesn't look like simple rock formations. Like I said, the first thing I got that was in my mind was it looked like something, again, a bunch of stuff was thrashed in one area. That's the best way to describe it. Let's put a little blur into this. And by blurring this photo a little bit, sometimes you can see the shapes a little smoother and you don't see this pixelation so much, right? Like I said, bottom left, just all of these pieces here. Clear up a little bit, go back and forth, a little clearer right there. I don't know, folks. Like I said, I can go back to this photo here. In fact, we'll jockey back and forth here a little bit so you guys can see the difference between this one here and this one here. Two different ways I did the enhancement. And no matter how you look at this thing, there's objects in here. There's no doubt about it. Some areas will be brought out a little bit darker than the other way of enhancing, so you don't notice that particular part as much. This is the reason why sometimes it's good to do different ways of enhancing. This way you catch everything, right? Because there's really no straightforward formula to get these things out. Here's the original. Like I said, folks, just this area alone. Forget about anything else. Just the way these objects look in here, they do not look like things you would see naturally. You can see all the lines I pointed out, and you can see the objects there. Now you can't unsee them. This is the raw photo again. Now I'm gonna go back and forth. Keep your eye on any of these lines, because they are actually in the photo. First enhancement, back to the original. Again, first enhancement, back to the original. 
Second enhancement. Go back to the original. These are in fact there. What this stuff is, I think, like I said in the very beginning of the video, I believe just picture being inside of a city and then everything gets thrashed and tossed and thrown around. And this is what they're seeing. And folks, if we go back, you can see this rover is not that far from it. It went over there to investigate it, no doubt. If you were to walk over to this object or these objects way in the back, they would probably be about the size of the rover. Now, the rover we know is about what? The size of a small to medium SUV. So you walk over there, this thing would be almost pretty much the size of the rover. So what are we looking at? One last time here. First enhancement. Original. And again, folks, lines at the back of the mountain, right there. I can go back and forth, and every single line that's now darker is in this photo. And we'll go back to, again, one more time, the other enhancement right there. What the heck are they? I already gave you my feedback. I know what I'm seeing here, and this clearly is not natural. There you go. Folks, there's not much more I can say about it. Give me your thoughts. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm always curious to see what you have to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Anyway, folks, more coming up. Stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.